all the remaining mods we're going to do today, we're going to do from the recovery menu. When you turn your phone on, you can either boot into the OS or into a download mode or into the recovery mode. Typically to make changes to the Android OS, like flashing a new kernel or a custom ROM, you always follow the same procedure. You copy a zip file to your phone, then you reboot into the recovery menu, and then you click on the file to flash it. Pretty simple three-step process. In this video, we're going to do this three times. First to root, next to flash a custom recovery that gives us more options than the stock recovery, and then uh, and to flash the custom ROM, and then a third time to flash the custom kernel. So we're on the XDA website. We're, we want to root. So we can get the file that we need from the, the general reference thread for the Galaxy S i9000. Um, I'm going to include the link below so you can click right to this thread. Just scroll down to the second post on this thread and you'll see the, the second section there. Update to custom ROMs root using update.zip. That's where we're going to find our update.zip file to download. So we're going to go to get the file. And download it. Once the file is downloaded, we need to rename it to exactly update.zip. Okay, so I have the file. Now I'm connecting my phone. Okay, phone is connected. Now I'm just going to drag that there. I can see the phone there. So I'm going to go into the internal SD card. There. You can see the file that the unlock tool just generated. Okay, so let's get the update.zip file. Copy it over. Okay, now we're going to disconnect the phone. And you can see using the My Files app, there's the update.zip I just copied into the internal SD card. Good. Now we're going to reboot into recovery. To do this, the famous three button way is you hold the power up, home, and the main power button. Sorry, the volume up, home, and power button. Hold all three together. Wait till the phone reboots. Right here, you just release the power button for a second, hold it back down. And that should get you into the recovery menu. There's our recovery screen. Oh, that didn't work. Let's try again. Quick release of the power button. There we go. Nope. What's going on? Let me try one more time. I guess I have to let go of the phone as soon as I see the, the blue. There we go. So here's our uh, stock recovery menu. I'm going to choose the second. Install update.zip. There you go. It's installing. And now it's rebooting the phone. And that's all there is to rooting our phone. Um, I'll just forward through this reboot sequence to speed up this video. Okay, phone just booted up. It should be rooted now. Quick check in the applications drawer. There we go. There's our super user icon. So we have root. Looks like we have root. Okay. Root is done. What's next? Let's get our custom recovery 